us today. He, he is Councilman Luigi Borda with the City of Doral. And before I introduce him, I'd like to give you a little history, a little biography of, of Luigi. Luigi was born and raised in Caracas, Venezuela. He was educated in the public school system in Caracas. And after completing high school, he went to work for General Motors, an American company, where he earned money to pay his way through college. In 1982, Luigi graduated from the University of Venezuela, where he earned a degree in accounting. And upon graduation, he married his college sweetheart, Graciela. They've been married for 30 years, and they have two wonderful children, Alexander and Maria Lorena, who are now married and have blessed Councilman Borri with two wonderful grandchildren. In 1983, he opened his first company in Caracas, TMC, The Magic Computer, and in 1989, Luigi came to America, where he opened his own business here, and he settled in Doral. He opened another company called The Wise Computer Company, which has been in operation now for 23 years and staffs a number, uh, 35 people uh, here in Doral. Luigi is currently a council member for the city of Doral, and his deep love for the city has prompted him to run for mayor. Though Luigi served on the board of his homeowners association for five years, the last three as president, he never considered himself a professional politician. He has a strong conviction and desire to give something back to the city, which has given so much to him and his family. So he decided, he decided that public service was the answer. Luigi has no political ambitions or aspirations beyond the city of Doral, he just wants to serve his community. Would you help me welcome Councilman Luigi Boria from the city of Doral. Well, now that uh, you guys have already all how we speak and the languages and everything, I'm going to start in my best language, Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yes, I've been serving here in Doral for the last two years, and I'm going to speak about some of the things that are, are really relevant of our city, and what we have done in, in the city to make this city better. And, uh, you know, the first thing I want to mention is, uh, you know, one of the uh, ideas of me being in a, as a servant is because uh, you know it's it's a beautiful city and we have to be aware of what uh, we have to preserve in order to be happy in any place we are. No? And uh, you know, my my kids always ask me why I should go and and do what I'm doing. But uh, the the only thing that to answer that question is to feel what we feel when we serve people, when we see people happy, when we answer questions from for. Uh, for them, and when they need something, and you can, you know, do something for them. And uh, in the last two years, has been a great experience for me because uh, the chance to go to Tallahassee and meet to people, meet with people that are really, you know, when we see it from here, we see it like in the high level, and we see that the, the, the way to reach these people is not easy. But uh, when I came, uh, you know, as my, I will say, uh, 10 days in office, uh, you know, some of the people in the city asked me that they needed a $30 million loan. And, uh, you know, it shocked me to see a city with uh, $46 million in reserve that they were asking for so much money, uh, you know. And the only reason they asked that money was because the rate were, uh, you know, low. Uh, I, you know, certainly oppose that, uh, uh, idea and uh, you know the, the the fact was that the rates went down instead of uh, going up. That uh, uh, you know surprised me because uh, it went down uh, and it saved the city like 2.5 million dollars uh, in interest uh, in these two years if we would have uh, asked for that uh, uh, you know loan. But uh, the idea of uh, being a good steward is, uh, you know, related and tied with the idea of being a good servant, and uh, it's, it's 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 wonderful when you have a call from somebody and they ask you, hey, we have a problem with the rain, 
and uh, everything is getting overflow. And uh, what we're going to do with that? And then, you know, what am I going to do with that now? We have, we, we're getting the city uh, over, uh, floating everywhere. Uh, what, what could we do to help these people? Then you, you understand better when you go to check the drainage, when, when you check the cleaning of the drainage, when you start you know, making your own ideas to see what you could do for them. And, and, and then you, you get the solution. That's, that's good because when you find the solution, then you can relate to them because then you see that uh, the only way to resolve problem is when you get into the problems because if, if you don't uh, you know really have this uh, kind of uh, uh, you know question from from the people you're never going to be able to do anything but uh, you know why am I uh, now doing this after being a, a successful man because I've been uh, a, I've been my boss for the last 30 something years. Uh, I, I create my own company and uh, one of the things that, that I uh, thought when I create my company and I relate to you, you know, because uh, when I had my first baby, uh, I was almost uh, fired from General Motors because uh, they found out that I was, uh, uh, you know, having a, a relationship with my uh, wife, which is, uh, you know, now we have 30 years married, but uh, I have to quit General Motors because in a good, a big corporation doesn't allow you, don't allow you uh, to, to be, you know, related with, the, uh, in the same department with your, your wife. And uh, uh, I have to be creative and the, then it was when I, you know, find out that the good way to uh, get money was uh, to found uh, to found a, a, a company. That's why what we sit down in a kitchen and we found that uh, you know the uh, our name of our company have to be something magic, and we uh, <laughs> decided to put the magic computer. But this is another story, like you mentioned before. If we start standing that, we're gonna have uh, you know the red light uh, quick, and I'm not gonna be able to say what I'm going, what I'm my here. My, you know, you invited me, thank you so much for inviting me to this, uh, but uh, now I'm running for mayor because I think uh, that, you know, you could do more things serving the people with uh, the, that. And uh, looking at the whole environment, I think with my experience as a business owner, with my experience now uh, as a, you know, elected official, I have the capability to be the best mayor of the city. Uh, you know, I, I have an action plan. In the city, there are many things that have to be done, and some of them are, you know, how to attract businesses to the city. The second one will be how, uh, you know, you use the resources that we have to attract those businesses. The, this, the third one is how we do to have more uh, transportation access to the city and improve the traffic, you know, facilitating the people that come come in and go out of the city. And I have some plans for that. Also to make sure that the little areas that are not providing any services to our community are being used properly. And also the fifth one, uh, promote the city of Doral, South Florida through cultural program and initiative, uh, you know, and I've been having some meetings with uh, consulates and, con you know, consul from other countries to see how we can interchange tourism from these uh, places to this uh, city, you know. Doral is the best city, I believe, in the world, and we're going to have a wonderful city for many years and for many generations. Uh, I know the time is short, uh, but I wanted to, uh, you know, thank all of you for all the things that you doing, uh, teaching people and training people to do their best of their ability. And I hope to see you soon, you know, uh, and me, of course, as a mayor of the city of Doral. And I hope uh, all of you, I know this is not good to say it, but when you see the ballot, you vote for me. Thank you. <laughs>